Story time. Get smart plus three. Page fifty two and fifty three. The ghost. The skills of today's lessons are language art 5.2.1 You will be able to ask and answer about the characters The complementary skills for today's lesson is listening 1.2.3 You will be able to listen and understand the story. Be ready with your Get Smart Plus 3 book. Listen and read along. It's Saturday night. Emily, Kelly and Bob are at Kelly's house. Kelly's parents are upstairs watching TV and the children are in the living room. They're eating crisps and sweets. There is a ghost in this house. It's in this room. Really? Where is it? Emily looks under the armchair. Whose slipper is this? It's mine. Thanks, Emily. Bob looks behind the bookcase. There is no ghost in here. I know. Let's go to the kitchen and get some food. The children are making sandwiches in the kitchen. Where's the cheese? It's in the fridge. They hear a noise. It's the ghost. It's in the living room. Let's go. The children run to the living room, but there is no ghost there. Kelly's parents are in the living room. Look at this mess. There are crisps on the floor. Sorry, Mum. Let's clean it up, guys. Do you understand the story? Let's discuss about it. But before that, take note of these WH question words. This is... Very important for you to understand the question. Who? Siapakah? What? Apakah? Where? Di manakah? Whose? Siapa punya? Question 1. Where are the children? They are at Kelly's house. They are in the living room. Question 2. Where are Kelly's parents? They are upstairs. Question 3. What does Emily find under the armchair? It's a slipper. Question 4. Who looks behind the bookcase? Question 5. Where are the children? Question 6. What are they doing? Question 7. Where is the noise coming from? Question 8. Who are in the living room? 
Question nine. What are on the floor? Question ten. What are the values from this story? Be responsible. Always clean up after playtime. Eat enough. Don't waste food. Question eleven. Do you think there's a goose in the living room? Here's the task for you. Task 1. Discuss previous 11 questions with your teacher. Task 2. Make a mind map about home. The main point is home. Try to elaborate home into some other words such as living room and then elaborate living room to the things in the living room for example armchair, television and anything that comes into your mind and relate it to the living room. You will see more ideas coming up from this mind map. Task 3, taken from workbook page 39. It's pretty easy, you can do it by your own. A quote for you before we say goodbye. The past is a ghost. The future a dream. And all we ever have is now. Don't waste our time. Do it now. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.